Welcome to this true story, Haunted by the Living. Families aren't like they used to be. They become separated. Um, People don't get to see their children or their grandchildren anymore. They grow up not knowing who their family are. And I have not seen my granddaughter since she was about six when her and her mother moved away. It's been almost seven years. But my granddaughter was very gifted, very talented. She had some very special gifts. And this is a story kind of about her and I. One of my granddaughter's favorite things to do when we were riding would she would be in the back seat watching the road for a hill or a bridge that was raised up. She knew what that would bring. You know that feeling you get from a top of a hill and you start down the other side? Just at the right speed? That funny feeling? That odd tickle that made kids laugh? My granddaughter would get excited. I would hear her in the back seat whenever she saw a hill coming up. She would shout out, he'll jump, Grammy, he'll jump. I'd look in the mirror at the big smile in her sparkling blue eyes and say, okay, are you ready? I'd already been watching for other cars on the road. I'd give my car just enough gas to get up the speed so it would have the right momentum when we peaked the hill that for a split second, it felt as though the car was airborne but wasn't. And the giggles and laughter from the back seat were so precious. Let's do it again, she would say. And it went on for some time. Often her and I would go out alone just to ride and have Keegan and Grammy time, as she would call it. Then came a time when she wasn't there. There was no booster seat, no giggling blonde-haired girl, no excited little voice saying, He'll jump, Grammy. He'll jump. She was gone. All was silent. Or was it? I was coming home one day from town, alone and feeling lonely. There were several small hills tops on the gravel road in front of me, this very road in this video. They looked like big stair steps. I literally stopped the car. I said, Look, Keegan. He'll jump, Keegan. He'll jump. I swear there was a giggle in the back seat as I stepped on the gas pedal to pick up speed for the first one, then the next, then the next, and the next. I could swear there were giggles coming from the back seat, but that couldn't be. Had to be the car, then the next, the next, then the last. Oh my, that was fun, I said to absolutely no one. Do it again, Grammy. I about ran off the road. I slammed on the brakes, looked in the rearview mirror. There were blue eyes smiling back at me. I turned around and looked, but I saw what I already knew. The seat was empty. I looked back to the mirror, and there was nothing. She was not there. I started shaking, and my skin turned cold, and I broke out into a cold sweat and started feeling sick. How could this be? She is alive and well. I knew my granddaughter is gifted, and could often check in on my mother when she was many states away but I had never experienced her visits myself. When I got home, I got in touch with her other grandmother to be sure she was okay. I even questioned other family members as well. This was just the beginning. I started hearing her often. I often went for rides when I was lonely, driving the roads she knew by heart, just to hear, hill jump, Grammy, hill jump, and her giggles. One day, when the weather changed, I went to look in the rearview mirror to back up, and I was shocked at what I saw. The back window was fogged up, and on it were her smudged handprints. Just a short time before her and her mom left, we had gone to McDonald's and got a Chicken McNugget kids meal, 
and I asked her to take a napkin and wipe the back window so I could see to back out. Being her usual silly self, she licked her hands clean and used her bare hands giggling the entire time, leaving ranch dressing smudges and handprints that could be seen to this day on foggy mornings when the sunlight hits just right. I had tried many times to tell people about her and hearing her, and people tell me it's all in my head. Until one day, taking a friend to a doctor's appointment, I had decided I'd had enough of the bigger roads and the heavy traffic and went on a road I'd never been on before just to go a different way, following the GPS on my phone. I didn't know that this road was like a roller coaster, the perfect, epic, hill jump road. I had long ago quit telling people about hearing her, about my haunted car, and kept it com completely to myself. But he knew the stories and did not believe me and was very vocal that the living cannot haunt you. But here we were on the perfect hill jump road and I say to myself, Are you ready, Keggy? And in the back seat, I hear her reply, Hill jump, Grammy, hill jump. I gave the car a bit more gas. I could see my friend's face was white as a sheet. His jaw was dropped and his eyes were huge. The car crested the hill and the hysterical little girl's giggle from the back seat made him swing around, unbuckling his seatbelt. He searched the back seat and the floorboard for a good full minute. What the f*** was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that little girl? I simply said, fasten your seatbelt. We have another hill. Hill jump, Grammy. Hill jump. Yay! He just stared at the back seat, then at me, then back at the back seat, as we crested the hill and the giggles filled the back seat. This is my granddaughter. She rides with me. I told you about her. He never said another word until we stopped for lunch and gas. He simply said, I believe you. I don't know how, but your car is haunted, or something, by that little girl. How, when she's not dead, I don't know, but that's some scary shit. Don't ever sell this car. Even though it doesn't run, I still have my car. I still to this day have never washed the handprints off the back window. They still appear when the glass is foggy and the sunlight hits on it just right. Will she follow me to my next car? Or will I lose my co-pilot? Only time will tell. Thank you for listening to this true story about my haunted car. And yes, I do believe that the living can haunt another person. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.